All right, so now I am going to move on to brewing some coffee over ice. And it's really neat. I actually didn't know this myself personally, but in the owner's manual on page 14 in one of the little notes, it says over ice brew is designed to produce a concentrated brew into a vessel filled with ice. It is normal for some ice in the vessel to melt as the coffee is brewed, and this will produce a cold beverage with the ideal strength and flavor. So I just learned something new today. And yeah, so I do have my ice cubes right here. I'm going to probably put a couple good scoops in here for my mug. I know you don't see my mug here, but I do have one that I'm gonna grab in just a minute. And I'm using the smaller side of the scoop to, since I'm doing just a single cup, and I'm going to do two scoops just for fun. And put that back over there. Get my coffee out of the way here. Going to slide that shut since we're ready. And I'm going to fill my mug with ice here and you can pick whatever type of mug you want I'm just doing this coffee mug just because that's something I have handy at the moment so let's see if I can get my cubes in here and it's weird because every once in a while yes I do like some cold coffee so having the ability to do an over ice brew in this machine is wonderful I find it to be nice and convenient, especially if you're on a hot day or something like that and you just want something nice and cold and you still want, you know, your coffee and all that. So anyways, as you see, my cup is now full of ice. I'm going to sit it under here and then I'm going to let you guys come up and see what I'm doing here. And so according to the manual here, for the over ice brew, we are gonna go ahead and turn it on and then press your brew style. So, and power that on and move it to over ice. And you see my ice in there and it's open and obviously we're not brewing a full carafe. So, and my cup I know is a 10 ounce cup, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to hit the start button and it beeped because it was getting ready to do stuff and I did fill it just you'll see it's just a hair below the cup line here so I'm just gonna wait and see if we can't watch it do some brewing here you can hear it making some noise so things are getting ready to happen here I have to say we actually have, while this is brewing, I just want to come over here and do a short comparison here. We have this Keurig model, and I love it, except for this one fact. When I pour a regular cup of coffee, this stupid thing causes coffee to go everywhere. And I find it to be the most inconvenient part of this whole system. Otherwise, I love it. I love being able to brew regular coffee and then you can do your K-cups on this side. But I noticed with this model, this Ninja here, the only annoying part that I find is just having to take out the actual pod adapter. Otherwise, this is definitely worth the money. I would definitely spend money on it if I was watching this. I do like all the features it has, like you know you can change if you just want to brew some hot water instead. I love the frother option as well and the convenient scoop holder and then obviously being able to maneuver your water reservoir. I like it in this position just for my particular counter space and it definitely takes up less spe space as you can see, you know, comparing it to my Keurig over there, he takes up a little bit more space just because it's a little bit wider. But yeah. Oh, there we go. 
So we are getting a little bit of brew here. It's taking its sweet time. See, we're about almost three quarters of the way down here. And like I said, you can choose whatever kind of mug you want, as long as it just fits underneath here. Oh yeah, we're, oh yeah. We're super close. I'm excited. It smells good. I'm ready to have a drink. <laughs> We got a couple of drinks at the end. We're almost done. And that is how you brew over ice in your Ninja Dual Brew Pro. And yeah, I'm going to set you guys up so I can take a sip of this really quick. Let's see if I can get myself in the take or I might, I might have to readjust you just a tiny bit so you can see me taking a drink of this. Maybe. If my camera will work. Okay, you can sort of see me. All right. That is really good. Even with just the two scoops that I put in there. It said you can do like two to three scoops, but I feel like the two scoops for me was just perfect. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys how to do that.